everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be heading out to Home Goods, and this is one of my favorite places to find those really high end designer looking items for amazing prices. So, I'm going to take you through the store with me, show you some of the fun things that I've been seeing, and kind of what I scan for, and then we'll come back home. I will show you everything that I bought and how I style it throughout my home. So, should be a really fun video. Hopefully, you can get some fun decorating and styling inspiration from it. And without further ado, let's head off to Home Goods. Okay, so one of the first things that I saw was this gorgeous kitchen island. It was only $800, which was an amazing price for something of this size. And I loved the stain and texture on the top. For me personally, I'd probably paint the bottom a darker color and then swap out the hardware to match my aesthetic, but I just thought this was such a cool and unique find. So one of the things that I'm always on the hunt for at Home Goods are large pots and planters. And I saw this woven one with handles and it reminded me of one I had seen on McGee & Co for three times the price. This would be great to hold a little accent tree or just use on a doorstep. I love the woven texture that it would add and I like how it kind of seemed to be that gray weathered color. I also spotted this other woven planter that had a little bit more of a boho coastal vibe and I thought this would be such a fun way to add a natural texture to a space. And Home Goods has some of the best prices around when it comes to large statement floor vases. This guy was only $40 and I loved the unique finish that it had. It would be really pretty to add in a grouping of planters out on a patio. When grouping planters together, it's really nice to have them be a similar color scheme, but vary a little bit in appearance and picking out planters with unique textures is a great way to add visual interest. So something that I've been seeing a lot of lately are these small to medium sized olive trees. I haven't seen many olive trees at Home Goods before now, but I'm seeing a lot of them, especially in this size. And I really love this rustic concrete pot that it comes in. And I think this would be such a cute accent piece. I also spotted this realistic looking rose plant. It was only 20 bucks and I thought it'd be such a sweet summer accent on a desk, a nightstand, a mantle, a kitchen counter, whatever. Another place that I love to scan for affordable finds is the bathroom bathroom section and just because it's categorized and put into the bathroom aisle doesn't necessarily mean that's where it has to be used. So for example, you could use a toothbrush holder as a pencil holder or incense holder instead. Something that I always find myself using in every room of my home are trays. If you put a couple of miscellaneous items together on a tray, what used to look cluttered instantly looks intentional and organized. So I always just keep my eye out for high-end looking ones that are are good price points that would help elevate my space and organize my decor. And then I always like to take a stroll through the artwork section and I found this pretty landscape painting for only $30. It had some nice faux brush strokes and I just love landscape oil paintings because they are classic and timeless and really help give your space that earthy feel. They also had this one, which was a little bit larger. It was twice the price at $60, but I like that it had the wood frame detail around the canvas. That just gives it a little bit more of a designer look, and I just love the dark brown and green tones that it had. I also spotted this more abstract style painting and thought it could be a fun DIY to make one of these yourself using joint compound on a canvas with a putty knife if you have a more modern aesthetic in your space. So an easy way to make your home feel really calming and relaxing is to incorporate simple landscape photography. And I loved the unique arch detail on this piece. It was $130, but I feel like this would make such a statement over a bed, a console table, or a sofa. So something I'm seeing a lot of right now in designer spaces are rattan and woven accents and this is perfect for summer this picture was only $15 and looked really similar to this island chic picture at Burke decor for $60 a great way to incorporate wovens into your space is to accent it with stools and these would be great to add to a living room you could pop them in an empty corner with maybe a plant on top or just use them to place in a corner of a bathroom for a more cozy homey feel my home goods had no shortage of these so if you are in need of a woven stool i would definitely check out your local home goods even if your style isn't coastal or boho it can be nice to incorporate some woven textures into your decor here and there just to help the space feel a bit more earthy and dynamic I loved the woven detail on this mortar and pestle. It would be so cute to display out on open shelving in a kitchen or a bar area, or just to warm up the look of a countertop. 
Next, I took a little stroll through the section with the larger furniture, and there's always some great deals to be found over here. I loved this leather sofa with its unique wrapped arm detail, and something I've noticed a lot of right now at Home Goods are accent chairs. They have so many different styles and colors to choose from, and I like that most are available in pairs, so you can easily bring them in to help round out a living room space. Another thing I love to keep an eye out for are smaller accent pieces. And I actually found our living room ottomans that I got at TJ Maxx for $20 less than I paid for them. So you can see they had both the navy stripe and the black stripe, very subtle difference. We do have the black stripe one, but both are really pretty. I also love to go check out the little tchotchkes aisle and see if there are any goodies over here. This is where I feel like you can score some of the most unique finds, whether you're styling a coffee table, a dresser, a console, table or shelves. I always come over here to see if there are any fun accents that I need to add to my collection. I also love to check out the kitchen section to look for accents to help elevate my kitchen space, whether that be a pretty set of plates or just a simple marble spoon rest. I always love looking for ways to refresh and update my kitchen at great prices. And I love looking for serverware to use when we have guests over, things like pitchers or maybe unique little bread baskets just to help elevate a party or a get together. And then my last task was to make it through the checkout queue line without buying anything. So now we're going to head home and I'm going to show you all of the fun things that I found. All right, so we're back home from the store and I'm ready to show you all the haul portion of this video and how I style all the items in my space. So the first thing that I found was this super pretty rattan or woven lamp. Now, this is a dupe for the Farah lamp at Arhas, and that lamp is regularly priced at $700, and I found this one for 50 bucks. So it still has a very similar overall look, but is just like a teeny, teeny, tiny fraction of the price. So I feel like I lucked out with this one. I love the overall design of it, and I like the Empire lampshade and how this has a really gorgeous, just simple brass face. I love the contrast of the woven and the brass material. This is Tommy Bahama, so I kind of like that little touch of coastal vibe in my space. Nothing too crazy or over the top, but just little touches of things like ocean photography or incorporating little bits of rattan here and there. I think that helps give my space a more relaxed, casual feel, which is really what I go for in my home. So this is just gonna go on my desk in the bedroom because we have a very rustic vibe in our bedroom. And I like to kind of soften that with different elements like this has kind of a touch of coastal. So it still kind of relates back to the rustic theme, but helps vary it up a little bit and create some visual interest. So definitely a good find with this one. All right, so this next piece, I almost left without it. I told the lady at the register, I was like, actually, I don't need that. And then I literally went back and I was like, actually, can I have it? I truly looked like a crazy person, but I know I made the right decision because I am obsessed with this and how it looks in my space. It is this gorgeous rustic looking bowl. So this says that it was handmade in Tunisia and that it was actually made from ash from lentiscus leaves. That is what this tag says. So I thought that was pretty cool. I love incorporating handmade organic looking things into my space that have that worn rustic feel to them. I feel like they really help add character and soften a space and help it to look a lot more designer. So this bowl was $29.99, which is why I went back and forth because it was like, ugh, $30 for a home goods bowl. I don't know about that. But honestly, I'm so happy that I got it because I'm using it right now as a statement piece on our island to hold our limes. And it's just in one of those places where I see it all the time and it makes such a statement. And I love the age look of this. I think it personally does look a lot more expensive than $30. So that's kind of why I was willing to pony up and pay it. Our kitchen also is very light and bright. So I like to incorporate some darker accents to 
to really contrast against that and help bring in some visual interest so the room doesn't fall flat. Definitely a really pretty piece and I love that it was handmade and just has that organic rustic earthy feel about it. All right and another piece to kind of go with the last one is this gorgeous vase. And this one was $39.99 and I actually used this in my previous video. I showed you all our upstairs living room makeover. So if you haven't seen that, I will link it here. Definitely be sure to go check that out because our upstairs living space is finally finished. But what I loved about this was that it was primarily black because I was trying to work in some black accents through our space upstairs, but also work in some clay earthy terracotta tones from our statement painting that hangs over the sofa. And I loved that this had both. So it has this really pretty almost clay like coloring on it which I absolutely love. I also love that it is a narrow mouth vase. If you guys have been following me from the beginning you all know that I was very obsessed with narrow mouth vases in the beginning of starting my channel just because you don't need as many florals or stems to put in them. They're a little bit more budget friendly when it comes to styling them with stems. So I actually only use two stems that I got from A Floral and I love the look of this on our little sideboard upstairs. All right, so the next thing that I found was this gorgeous real marble tray, and it almost has a slate appearance to it, which I love. And this guy was $12.99, which I thought was an amazing deal because I've seen very similar trays at both Williams and Sonoma and Anthropology for $50. So I love that I can get a very similar look to those trays, but you know, I didn't have to pay the $50, which is awesome. And I got this just because I figured it could be a very versatile piece. I could use this as a little tray for my soaps in the bathroom just as a little cute display. I like that it's a very earthy material but still again has that dark contrast because we do have lighter countertops so I figured that this would be a great piece to use in our bathrooms that all have those light countertops. It also would just be really pretty for using as serveware so you know you could put a little charcuterie board or appetizers out on here and I just love the earthy organic feel again that it has. I feel like when you incorporate materials that are naturally occurring in the earth like slate or marble that it really does just help ground your space makes it feel very down to earth and organic and just really relaxing. This also could be used as a riser in the kitchen to pop a little oil cruet on or maybe a candle, a little piece of greenery, something like that. So I thought that this would be a really pretty versatile piece. You could use it for many different things. All right, so this next thing that I found was this cute little bookend and this was $16.99 and bookends can be really expensive on designer sites. So I thought $17 for one wasn't too bad. It kind of has a petrified wood look to it, which I really like. I think when you incorporate wood bookends next to you know paper or linen books it just has a nice juxtaposition because they're two different materials of a tree I don't know maybe that's me just thinking a little bit too far into it but that's just something that I like to do and be really intentional with in my design sometimes and I've been holding out on buying a bookend for a long time until I found one that I really liked so I did previously buy some aged wood ones that I love and then I saw this and I thought that this would be kind of a similar look as well so yeah I'm just gonna pop this on our bookshelf. I think that bookends are really nice to have on hand for creating aesthetic statements with books. Instead of just having a stack of them, you know, you have a nice little placekeeper that just looks satisfying and feels like it finishes it off intentionally. So I love to have these laying around to use in my book styling because you never know where you're going to need one on a bookshelf, a console table, a mantle, whatever. Definitely a good piece to have on hand. All right, so next I've really been trying to work on curating my bakeware and serveware collection just because I didn't really have much before. I had kind of enough to get by, but now I'm really trying to find those pieces that I love and that have character and that I'm proud to use when I'm entertaining. So I found this really gorgeous made in Portugal casserole dish. This guy was $12.99 and it says that it's oven safe, microwave safe, dishwasher safe, and freezer safe. So that was a plus. And I also just love the really pretty handmade ceramic look of it. I love the colors of the clays that they used, and I just found this to be a really uniquely crafted piece. I just thought it was so pretty. It had character. So 90% of the time when I have people over, I usually am making some sort of casserole just because that's what's convenient. So I figured it would be nice to have a piece that I was kind of proud to serve that in. And the fact that I got this for $12.99 was such a steal. Now this next piece, I didn't even really have space for, but I just could not pass them up because I hadn't honestly ever seen anything like these at home goods before especially in a set. So I found these really cute marble pinch pots with lids, which is really big that they have lids. I feel like I always see cute little bowls, but nine out of 10 times there's no lid to go with it. So I figured that this was very sanitary and I like that there was a black and a white one so it could come in a pair and these were $7.99 each. So they say that they're little salt sellers. So I figured it'd be nice to kind of just put some seasonings in here and just have these 
these out on the countertop so things are ready to go and I don't have to like go into the pantry and get anything. And on top of it, it's just a really aesthetic look to have it out on the counter, which I love. So I'm not sure if I'll have room on the countertop for these, but I bought them thinking that one day I can hopefully make some space for them. Now these next couple of items aren't necessarily things that I can style. They're just more practical pieces to incorporate into my everyday routines. So the next thing that I found were these really cute cactus cool silicone ice cubes. These were $5 for a set of 16, which I thought was a really good deal. And what I figured I would use these for is making lime ice cubes. So I thought it'd be fun to mix some lime juice and water just to put these in our margaritas. I thought it would look really cute and for entertaining, it'd be so fun. You could also do like blackberry mint ice cubes or whatever. I saw the cactuses and really liked them because if you guys know, I spent seven years in Arizona and it's one of my favorite places on this earth. So it's just like a fun little shape that reminded me of my time in the desert. So I thought that these would be really fun to have on hand. And then I also found this set of salad suppers. Oh shoot. <laughs> Um, but I just figured that these would go really pretty with a lot of my large ceramic serve bowls. So most of my salad bowls are made out of ceramics. So I figured that this would be a nice little contrasting material. It's very simple. I love the gold champagne color and these were only $12.99. So I thought that these would just be nice to have on hand. Never hurts to have salad servers. It's kind of one of those items that I didn't have before that I felt like I needed to invest in. So I saw these and couldn't pass them up. All right, everyone, that about wraps up this video. I hope that you enjoyed coming through Home Goods with me and seeing some of my newly acquired items. Definitely leave me a comment below as to which one was your favorite. I would love to hear from you all. And I just wanna thank you all so, so much for watching this video. All of you who show me constant support and kindness on my channel, you honestly do not know what it means to me. I am so grateful for each and every one of you. For anyone who just watches, likes, or comments on my video, you guys, seriously, I just wanna take every opportunity that I can to say thank Thank you and thank you all so much for watching this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!